Hi everyone, it's here, thanks for stopping by. So I've got a parcel and this one has come to me from the good people at OneDaySaving.com. Uh, Ermin contacted me again and said, would I like some more products to show on my channel? I said, yes, of course, because I've loved everything else that I've had. So yeah, I'll get into this and have a look and keep watching to the end. Because we've just got a giveaway winner to do. Because if you remember in the last video uh, from One Day Saving, uh, we did have a little subscriber giveaway prize draw to do. And so, yeah, so somebody will be winning either uh, a lovely sparkly flowery pen, resin pen. You can buy these from One Day Saving as well. Or this gorgeous stack pen. Uh, you do have the choice of either. As I say, this is a little bit heavier resin pen. Or this is a little bit lighter. Sort of your metally plasticky type pen. So it depends what you like to use. Uh, and whether you like stags or not. But uh, yeah, I like both of them. Okay, I've just been joined by the lovely Lottie Lou. Who's just pushed the door up and barged away in. And we have Millie in her bed next to me. In the craft room here. So, yeah, we're uh, having a bit of fun today. <laughs> okay, yeah, I've got an audience. Ah. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it and have a look and see what we've got. So, we have oh, a diamond painting and another diamond painting. And oh, a little special drill project. Now, I did have one of these uh, in the last package that I got, and I like them so much. I thought, right, I'm going to get another one. So, we have a purpley one and we have a blue one. Yay! Slightly different uh, colours and everything in each, but still very, very pretty. And uh, they are bookmarks, but I think you could use them as bag charms or anything, or decorations. Or, I mean, you could buy a few and put a few together. Um, you know, if you had like a dream catcher uh, and put, say, three together and hang them sort of one, two, and then one there, three, they'd all fasten together at the top. Uh, you could put a little pish pu push pin, <laughs> pish poon, <laughs> speak English, Liz, a little push pin through the middle there, and that would hold them probably uh, fairly strongly in place. So you could have the three, um, or you could do a whole round with them, put them on a wreath or something. Or even just hang them one after the other um, and have them as like a mobile, just hanging. Or if you get, say, a round, you can get like the polystyrene rounds or you can get the uh, MDF rounds. You could have them hanging sort of round. Get a few of them and hang them round. Really, really pretty. And the price of these at the moment is £3.57. So, yeah, a nice little project to do. So let's have a look at the colours in this one because we have seen the other one before okay. comes with your little toolkit there and what I hadn't realised when I got the last one is you do get this lovely diamond uh, AB coated your iridescent coated gem so it's a clear gem with just a coating on and your little jump ring to attach it so when you're actually hanging it um let's get it out and show you what am i done show you it's all a plastic bag don't be silly don't be silly okay oh i'll keep all those jump rings in there take the pen and the boat and the wax out then we'll go in my donation pile but obviously if you're buying it as a present or whatever for somebody then they're a lovely uh, little starter kit for somebody okay so yeah you get this gorgeous look at that sparkle on that Let's see if i can get it lovely Ooh. you could even use that separately on something couldn't you yeah i love that i love that in fact you could even use it as a little teeny tiny key ring but yeah, so what you'll do is, is thread that through there and then that will hang sort of and dangle on your little key ring at the top here. See if I can... Oh. <laughs> ah, where did it go? Don't disappear on me. Oh, dear me, what am I like? Right, so that will go there and that will go there and you'll just have it hanging her just a little extra just that little extra flash i mean if you've got a huge handbag then this would make a great bag charm it really would 
you know, a real statement piece. But yeah, they are designed as a bookmark um, and that is what they are sort of marketed at. But I can just think of so many different things to use these for. The thing I do like about them, if you do use it as a bookmark, is they're very, very thin. Let me just put these away so I don't lose them, you know me. I don't know if you can get the width of that. Yeah, you can. It's just very, very thin. So rather than having, say, one of the uh, leather bookmarks that are quite chunky ones, they've got all the gems and everything on, then these are a nice thin one. So it's not going to be quite so bulky uh, in your in your book. Um, it has got a cover on the back as well. So if you just peel off a lot of these projects, uh, which you maybe don't notice at first, do actually have this like plastic coating on the back. She says, desperately trying to get it off, but you can see it's crinkled there. Um, I don't need my tweezers, I'll have to get my tweezers. But yeah, that will just peel off and it will be clear underneath. And then obviously you'll just peel your top cover off to put your gems on. So where, let's see if I, just let me have another go, grab my tweezers. My lovely hot pink tweezers that uh, my wonderful friend Chris sent me. Okay, look, they're all glittery as well. Well, let me just, yeah, that will just peel off there, look. They just put these on as like a dust cover, sort of an anti-scratch cover so that you're not uh, damaging anything and it just keeps it nice and clean and everything as well. So we'll just put that back down. But yeah, I just think these are so pretty. So something that little bit different. Uh, there's about, I think there's either four or five different ones. So there's about four or five different designs you could get. So you could get one of each as sin hang them um, from a little circle, an MDF circle, or even cardboard. Um, if you cover it, you know, you could cover it in diamonds. And oh, I've got so many ideas for that. Stop it, Liz. I've got so many things I need to do first. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's look at these gems. Oh, we've got some specials in some separate bags. Wow. So we have one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten different gems and colors on this little feather that's fantastic so we have a little palish pink there oh a lovely dark purple and that's sort of a, a mid blue with a lovely ab coating an iridescent coating on it they go in my specials we've got a, a like a turquoisey blue and a slightly different shade of a turquoisey blue a lovely gold and then your purpley colour there in your marquees. Okay, gosh, it's going to be lovely pinks and purples. The palette on this is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. And uh, then we've got some rounds that have got an AB coating on, an iridescent coating. Sorry, I've had to put the light on today. It's really dark. I don't know why it's gone so dark. So you can just about see those. And we've got some golds. <laughs> Move the silvers first, Liz gold in the uh, slightly larger rounds and then some ab coated hot pink markies we had to have a hot pink we can't have an unboxing of a special without a hot pink yay <laughs> okay let's pop these away then oh and we'll give the feather a quick measure as well because we don't need to know what size it is Away. I've got a little whatnot on my desk now with pens and tape measures and things in so I don't have to keep going in my drawer but I'm automatically going towards my drawer now because it's usually there I keep forgetting that I can just reach across and get it it's wonderful having a bigger desk yay okay so the length of this is 21 centimeters which is about eight and a quarter inches and uh, let's see where's the widest point about there do we reckon so it's just under six centimetres, which is just about two and a quarter, just over two and a quarter inches. So nice size, nice book size, isn't it? That's my hand. I think I've got a fairly average hand. I don't know whether I've got big hands or not, really. I've never really thought about it. <laughs> so when you start looking at them on video, day in, day out, you think, oh, are my hands big or not? <laughs> 
Okay, so that's uh, item number one. Let's pop this away. Put these in there. No, so I don't lose them. Keep them all together, Liz. We don't want to lose anything. Okay, so pop the feather there. What shall we look at first? Let's look at a full drill painting. Yay! So this just really caught my eye. It's just something that a little bit different. And I do like to get things that I've not seen anybody else show or unbox. Um, and just try different things. This one, oh, squeak! Don't like the squeak. So let's just unroll it. It's only a little one, quite a sort of a medium canvas, not too stiff, not too um, soft. Just got a little bit grubby there, but that's okay. We can work with that as long as it's yeah, it's nowhere near the picture, it's just on that side. Uh, basic toolkit again, great to get you started. Pen, boat, and wax. Nice train of drills. These look nice drills. Okay. Um, just got the number and it looks like we've got the canvas number there. And it is a bit more spring really rather than this time of year. But as it just spoke to me. I just love this one. Yeah, that's the canvas number there. Look. So each packet of drills, if you get a packet of drills separated, if you've still got that number on, you'll be able to match it up with your canvas. Yeah, it's a little 30 by 30 and it's like a little stained glass window effect and I thought that was just so pretty. I think it's the colour palette that appealed to me most. It's like purple and blue and pink just all mingling in with that little flash of white there and it looks like we might have a little bit of yellow or gold just to add a, a few more highlights but I just think that is so pretty. And then we've got this great border going all the way around the edge. It's like a, a little bit like a checkerboard effect, isn't it? Around the edge. Um, so yeah, we've got just nice straight drills. So it's great for practicing doing straight drills um, and getting your lines straight. If you use a piece of card or an old credit card, or even if you've got one of your straighteners, if you've got one of these straighteners, then if you check it out, just pop it um, as a straight along there and put your, put your drills up as you're going along. Uh, then yeah, you could do that, or you can try um, doing multiplacing using your multiplacers that can come in some of the kits. Uh, yeah, and you can do that. But uh, these are quite handy because they're a nice straight edge, and they're quite a bit larger as well. So you can go right the way along there and just put your drills up. And then once you've got your first straight row down, your second row should just keep nice and straight as well so yeah as far as i know one day saving do sell these as well i'm sure i've seen them on the website but they do do a lot of tools and pens and all sorts of bits and pieces so you know when you're looking at your diamond paintings just go and check out the other things uh, there are quite a few special offers on as well at the moment on the website so it's always worth checking because sometimes if there's a certain amount you need to spend adding some of your really useful tools or pens or whatever in might just get you up to the spend that you need to get a free gift or to get postage cheaper or free or whatever so it's always worth you know check out your special offers and then check out all your other little bits and pieces as well i like the bits and pieces but i like little things <laughs> right let's just put this through first okay oh yeah and don't forget i have it printed out now so i don't forget if you use the code L I Z O five O F F Liz five off, you'll get five percent off your order. Yay! So it's always worth if there's something that you see that you like, get your five percent off. Yay! So I have to have it on a big piece of paper now, otherwise I forget to tell you. I get so excited opening the products and looking at the products that I forget to tell you about getting some money off as well. <laughs> Uh, I always put a link down below as well if you didn't quite get that. So let's just flatten this other side down as well. And we'll give it a quick measure. But don't you think the colours on this are so pretty? Uh, I, it's really my colour palette. I love these colours. I mean, I love my hot pink. But you can't wear hot pink all the time. And I'm getting a little bit old for wearing hot pink. <laughs> oh dear, that's probably why I like it so much and everything else. Right, so it is 25 centimetres that way, which, oops, not very straight, am I? 
which is about nine and three quarter inches. 25-ish centimetres, nine and three quarter-ish inches. So I don't measure to the millimetre, I just measure so I can give you a little bit of a rough idea of what size things are. We have 19 colours. Looks like we have all letters there on the key code and we do have DMC codes, which is always helpful. All right, so let's have a quick look at the real colours to see what we've got. such a soft pastely colour palette this one I love it absolutely love it all right so we are starting at good old 154 <laughs> it seems to be a real <laughs> seems to be a real staple of diamond paintings does 154 or particularly the ones I do anyway we've got then like a nice denim blue and a very pale sagey green and that's your black there, your 310 black. Actually, there's not as much black as I was expecting because that's quite a thickish edge going around here. But then I suppose it's only a smaller painting, so maybe not. But yeah, quite a good edge. It will really frame the painting. And then a nice grey. Oh, and a lovely lavender colour. And a bit deeper grey. And is that one green? Can't tell once I've got the lights on. I think that's, yeah, that's a very deep green and a pale grey and another denim blue and another sage green and that's a nice browny colour and a little bit of beige and that, just that little pop of like a pale lemony yellow colour a nice bit brighter green oh a pink a lovely pink and a bit deeper blue and like a purpley pink colour and then like a mocha colour okay so a nice colour palette so soft just pretty to work with definitely definitely uh, sort of spring summery colors but it's still very very pretty in fact to be honest with this one i think putting it in a frame i'll have to see what it's like when it's done but putting it in a frame might spoil it i think this is one that's calling out to just put it on some uh, foam board and just have the picture as is uh, to go on the wall it would actually make quite a nice placemat, that, wouldn't it? Not that you could really use a diamond painting as a placemat as such because the heat would um, affect it too much. But, uh, yeah, I think that's really, really pretty. Okay, so that's project number two. And then our final one. Yay! We have got a special room. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. in this one. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so we have our standard toolkit, which is your pen. Uh, we've got some of the little black plastic tweezers, pen and boat and wax. Okay. <sighs> Just can't wait to look at them. But let's do the canvas first. Let's get it flattened down. Okay, so it's partial. It's a special drill. So the background, none of the background has any gems or diamonds on it is just literally this beautiful heart flower this will make a super card all right so let's give it a quick measure i mean how pretty is that it's all roses a heart is such a clever idea a heart made out of roses and then we've got all these little flowers in between what color are they going to be the oh they're going to be this purpley color look i think it's going to be oh i love it absolutely love it I do like my special rules, though, I have to admit. Uh, you've probably noticed, to be fair. <laughs> so it's 24 centimetres, which is about nine and a half -ish inches. That's the actual sort of coloured picture size. Yeah, and about 24 centimetres, nine and a half inches. So it's a lovely canvas. Very, very pretty. Okay. Oh, just love this. Okay, so we've got uh, 14 different gems and colours. There is numbers on them, but as I say, I've, I've never really found that any of them have matched up as such. So um, I do use it was a different system for uh, categorising them all. But yeah, look at that. So pretty. Once it's got all that sparkle on, that hung on the wall is just going to really stand out and sparkle. 
And I think the thing about um, special drill ones as well is that you, I know with a normal you know, resin or acrylic drill, you do get a little bit of um, shine. Well, you get quite a bit of shine from rounds. You do get a bit of shine as you walk past, but with your special drills, they're just depending on how the light hits it as you walk past them, you just get that, oh, sparkle. You've got to have a bit of sparkle in your life. <laughs> oh, these colours are lovely. Okay, so we've got your lovely bright red and a lovely limey green and a grass green a little bit deeper. And that purple is very, very pretty. And ooh, nearly a hot pink, quite a hot pink, but it's getting there. Bit hot pink's baby sister, I think, that one. And I, that is a very, very pale pink. It probably looks clear uh, in the camera. I'm not sure whether it'll pick it up, but that has a very subtle soft pink in it. Next to that one, yeah, you can maybe see if I put the two pinks together, you can maybe see there's just that little bit of pink hint on that one. And then this lovely pinky purple. And then, ooh, that's lovely. That's like a bluey purple. And a little bit deeper purple. Oh, it's going to be so pretty, this colour palette. And then we've got a gold colour and a cherry red and a hot pink. Yay! And then all these gorgeous marquees that have got that purple iridescent coating on an AB coating, which is your Aurora Borealis. It's like Northern Lights oil and water type effect there. And that's going to be all in the middle there. And because that's got the iridescent coat in it, it'll sparkle out and make the other colours sparkle um, in different colours as well. It sort of it highlights other colours. It's very clever, the uh, AB coating. So, yeah, that is so pretty. Great. So, we've had some absolutely gorgeous paintings here. We have our gorgeous rose with all its sparkly drills. Wow, sparkle, sparkle. We've got our, a lovely, like, it's like a stained glass window effect with its little pastel colour palette there. And then our gorgeous feather. Actually, the feather matches uh, the middle, doesn't it? The feathers match in there, look. It matches with this one. You could hang it from the bottom of this picture. <laughs> okay, so if you've got any comments or questions on these, if you leave them in the comments down below. And now I'm going to pass you over to the next bit of the video and there'll be the prize draw for the pen. Good luck. So, who's going to do the prize draw? Is Nilly going to do the prize draw? No, she don't like being dressed up. Is Lottie with the cat on going to do a prize draw? Lottie, you going to do a prize draw? She's <laughs> Oh, my goodness me. So, it's down to Hubby then with his <laughs> light up witch's hat. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I've got all the names and all the comments in here. So let's see, just pick one out. Just pick one. <laughs> just pick one. Yay. Okay, so let's see who's the winner. And it is. Okay. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Focus, focus, please focus. Okay, I don't know why it's not wanting to focus. Put it down on here, see if we can focus here. <laughs> okay, so finally the winner is Beverly Thomas. And she says, always enjoy your vids, hashtag pen. So thank you ever so much, Beverly. That's really, really kind of you. And if you'd like to send me your details, uh, my email address, Instagram and Facebook details are all down below. And let me know which pen you would like. Thanks ever so much. Back to the main video. Congratulations to the winner. Yay! Okay, uh, if you can contact me either on Instagram as a message, uh, on Facebook via Messenger, or my email address is down below. Um, all my social media links are down below as well. Um, and I'll get in contact with you and you can let me know which pen you would like. So it will either be a gorgeous resin pen, okay? and you've got your little multi places and everything there and some wax. Or you can have the uh, little stack pen. So you have two choices of pens there. All courtesy of OneDaySaving.com, which is wonderful of them. They've sent me those um, as little gifts. 
um, and at one day saving did actually give me two items to do for giveaways so we've had the pen draw and oops sorry if you didn't win that one but congratulations again to the winner uh, but if you would like to win one of these bookmarks with your drills and everything uh, then if you comment with oh what shall we say hashtag blue or hashtag purple down in the comments then any of my lovely subscribers just as a saying thank you for subscribing to the channel and coming along and watching me each day then you will either win either the blue one or the purple one your choice so there you are another giveaway i know i've been doing quite a few recently but uh, as I say, I did my event. I've had some extra giveaway products being sent to me as well. And I said, one day saving has sent me two giveaway products, which was really, really nice of them. So go and show them some love and have a look at their products. Say so there are quite a few of these, but these are the two I picked out because I thought mm, these are quite popular colours uh, and possibly somebody would want one. Okay, so don't forget. Uh, if you didn't win on the pen and you would like to have a go at winning these, then you'll get one of them, either hashtag blue or hashtag purple. Okay. Don't forget as well, my Liz 05 off to get 5% discount at one day saving. Yay. <laughs> okay, well, a huge thank you. Uh, to one day saving for sending me these products and for sending me the extra so that i can do a lovely little subscriber giveaway on my channel just helps me to grow the channel we are hopefully getting up to that magic number eventually once you get to uh, a thousand subscribers then you can start earning small amounts from advertising and things on your channel so that's wonderful and if i do get anything like that then i will start putting it back into the channel and there will be more giveaways i'm hoping to maybe do one a month or maybe events and things like that a lot more fun so let me know if you've got any ideas again pop them in the comments down below as well i'm always open to ideas and suggestions <laughs> okay well again thank you one day saving for sending these thank you for the giveaway congratulations to the winner of the pen giveaway and if you do want to become a subscriber so you can have a go at winning one of these feathers then if you press that subscribe button just down in this corner and a little all notifications pops up all it means is that uh, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up you don't get loads of spam emails or anything like that uh, it is just literally like following or like liking on facebook and uh, instagram and other social media so yeah and it just helps me out as well so thank you ever so much for stopping by i hope you'll subscribe and come and join our little family and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now